This week on OSRL. Our pole barn house build continues, and we get a visit from some uninvited guests. But luckily, our guard dog, Yuvia, was there to usher them away. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Man, I got a crazy story. It involves our dog, Yuvia. Now, if you don't know who Yuvia is, she's our Anatolian Shepherd, and she is an absolutely amazing dog. Just recently, we had some unwanted visitors on our property, and she took care of it. I gotta tell you what happened. But now, if you're new here, my wife and I, we live off-grid here in the Arizona desert, and we're building our own house. So just recently, I put rafters up on our pole barn build, but now I gotta put blocking between those rafters so the boards don't twist. So I'm gonna get to that, and I'm gonna tell you about this story. It was pretty wild. We were blown away. So I am making some excellent progress on the blocking. I got almost half of it done here on the north side. I wanna knock this out today, then I head over to the south, get some blocking over there, and then we'll be good to go. Just a necessary little step before I get to the last part about putting the roof over this. So, very excited. All right, well I am over halfway doing the blocking on this north hand side. It's coming right along. It's a nice warm day out, mid 80s. I'm loving it. I'm also loving when we get a little cloud cover. It protects me from the sun a little bit. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take uh, any little bit of cloud cover we can get. But uh, just keep plugging along. It's uh, definitely time consuming work, but it'll be worth it in the end. Well, she's usually out hunting, but uh, I guess she decided to uh, spend a little time with me while I'm working on the house. Look at that view. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's what I get to look at when I'm working out here. Going for a little morning walk with my bud crew. It's going for a decently long walk today, which is uh, always nice to see. So I'm back out here in the morning, ready to get this done. Well, ready to get the north side of the roof done. I got one last bay that I got to get done. I got to get this done soon. Winds are going to pick up again today. They're going to be very strong. So I want to get this north hand side done before those winds pick up. Those winds might not stop me, but they're definitely going to slow me down. So if I can get this done, that'll be good. And then I can start on that south side. Uh, this is just blocking. It shouldn't take that long. It is taking quite a while. <laughs> I mean, just crawling up and down the ladder, cutting everything. But uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I know it's a necessary step, but I got to do what I got to do. And I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible. I want to get to that upper roof sooner rather than later. All right, I got the blocking on the north side done. And I think just in time too, because the winds are starting to pick up just as it is scheduled to. Gotta hurry up and feed the birds there. A ton of them around. So it's the next day and I plan on finishing off the rest of this blocking. I don't think it's gonna take much time. I was gonna get a little bit done yesterday, but the winds were strong and I just decided to knock out some chores around here, use that as an opportunity. But now today should be a beautiful day, nice and warm. Look at this t-shirt, just gonna get up there, knock this out. The winds should be very low today. Should just be the perfect day to get things done. So let's knock this out. Uh-oh, looks like someone's up to doing cob again. So where's this mix going? Root cellar. Oh. 
do you want a fresh pair of gloves? I washed and dried a pair of gloves. It's probably still on the drying rack or drying line. Or you can use those. Um, yeah, I'll take the clean ones. Don't put all your cob into one basket. I already opened the door for you because I'm a gentleman. Thank you. Yuvia came down here earlier. Yeah. I think uh, it was uh, just before lunch. And I think she was looking for a cool place to hide. It's, it feels good in here. It feels good in here. But I ultimately opened the dome and she'd rather be in there. Yeah, it's, it's actually better in it's better there. better in there. <laughs> Remember when you crop dusted me on that other video? No. <laughs> Our audience remembers. And that is a fantastic looking job. So if anyone is curious, this says it is 71 degrees down here. Not super cool, but at least keeps the sun off of you. <laughs> yeah, well it's probably about 10 degrees cooler than outside. Oh, yeah, there you go. And I've had the door open for a while, so. That actually splashed me a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I could use a little mud, uh, mud cleanse. In the splash zone. All right, so like I've been saying, it's an absolutely beautiful day. It was just a perfect day for working outside, getting things done. And I got a lot done on this south side. I got that whole north side done, almost the full south side, but I can't go any further because of the stairwell. It'd be kind of tricky getting the blocking up there, but I will do that eventually. I will get that done. And also I got this big pile of rocks here that I still got to deal with. I got to get these rocks moved. That's going to be a big job. I got to get all those out of here. Now, I want to start on the upper part of the roof, and that is going to be kind of tricky. And I think I'm going to need some type of scaffolding. I might have to make my own scaffolding to try and get up high over there. I'm going to have to see if I can get a hold of some scaffolding or kind of make a platform that I can kind of stand on up there. Uh, we're going to see what I can come up with. So wish me luck on that. But the build is really coming along. A lot of progress. I'm very excited. Jim just showed me something that he put together that is it's a little weird, but I think it's creative and it's kind of cool. So let me show you what he did here. Hey. Hey, so show off your invention here. <laughs> My little dust collector. Well, yeah, I got a whole I got a whole contraption over here. You know, this used to just have like a, a regular dust bag that would just clamp down to the end over here. Hang on. Oh. Just clamped onto the end of the saw over here. And it would just it would just fill up, it would get clogged real fast, and then it would make a mess everywhere. It was kind of inefficient. So I just kind of took that bag off. But when I took the bag off. It would just spray sawdust everywhere, including, especially like on a windy day, get it all over me. So I'm like, I gotta do something. So what I did was I just grabbed this PVC elbow I had laying around, and it fits perfectly on there. <laughs> and then 
with a pipe clamp on the end and a plastic bag, it catches all the sawdust perfectly. Should I show it in action? Yep, let's see it. And saves all the sawdust perfect for the compost. All right, so I promised you we'd talk a little about the exciting uh, event with our dog, Yuvia. <coughs> Pretty wild, right? I was talking about those unwanted visitors. But uh, we had Javelina come onto our property. And of course, Yuvia is like the protector. She kind of guards against these unwanted visitors, these animals that come onto our property. And she does a really great job of chasing them off. So the other day I was out here working and then I took a look over and sure enough, big javelina were just walking across the property. I think I call out her name, but she was already on it. She came out, she saw those javelina and then she went right to work and started, I think she chased one over to the south and then the one I caught, it was like chasing it over to the north end of the property. Yeah, and if you ever see her running like that, that's that's something to see too. She's fast. She's got those long legs, and she can jump really high. So you know those javelina were running through the bushes, and she's just jumping right over those thorny acacias. And those javelina for like those big bodies and tiny little legs, they can really move. It can go pretty fast. But she was catching up to that one for sure. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't about to get away from her. Now if you don't know what a javelina is, it's a type of peccary, collared peccary. And they do kind of look like pigs. They have these snouts and these little legs. And they're common around here. Now, the uh, javelina, we don't necessarily mind them being around. Like, they, we don't have anything for them to really mess up too much, but they are kind of a nuisance. They will eat up, like, if you have a garden that's unprotected, they will get into the garden and they'll mess that up. Yeah, and they don't, they don't mind eating cactus. They don't mind eating cactus. <laughs> they'll eat a lot of things. Um, they've gotten into our chicken feed, I think, before. Oh, yeah. and stuff like that so you gotta really keep things you know away from where they can get into otherwise it's a real nuisance and they're not uh too dangerous but they can be it can be they don't see very well so if you do go out and confront them they kind of have bad eyesight so they could end up charging right into you in the hopes of like trying to get away and I've heard of people actually getting injured by them. They do have, you know how um, pigs have tusks, kind of. These actually have four tusks, so on the bottom and top, and they're, you know, these really long, sharp, sharp uh, canine teeth. The thing is, like, if you do have dogs, you do have to be careful because they will get aggressive with dogs. They don't like dogs, probably because... They chase them off. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have to deal with the coyotes and things around here, too. So they're probably pretty wary of anything that kind of looks like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but, you know, Yuvia handles herself pretty well with them, I think. She's a very smart dog. She, uh, she will get aggressive and just kind of chase things around. But she knows the, probably not to get into a fight. So if something kind of charges her back, she will kind of keep her distance a bit. Mm -hmm. So she isn't looking to necessarily throw down and try and kill these things. Just chase them off. That is what happened. Uh, there was another incident where we had Javelina, and there was kind of a little bit of back and forth. It kind of chased her back, and she kind of chased it, and just mm -hmm. kind of working it off the property. Yeah, but she, she let it know, like, you're not welcome here. You need <laughs> to leave, and then they did leave. Good job, girl. Um, I she's gotten cows off the property before. Pretty amazing. And uh, not only does she protect our property from unwanted visitors, but also pests, because she also does a lot of hunting. 
I mean, any regular viewer of our channel would probably put one scene of her digging up holes in just about every video. And surprisingly, she has a pretty good track record of catching mice and rats and stuff like that. Yeah, so it definitely helps kind of keep the rodent population down around here, I think. So she does have her job, and uh, she does it pretty well. Yeah, and... You know, I mean, she's a type of livestock guardian dog, and we don't have really livestock here yet, aside from chickens, if you want to count that. But she just generally knows to protect this area, mm -hmm. and she tries to keep any unwanted animals out of here. We definitely love having her a part of our family. She's made so many leaps and bounds since we brought her on here and she's grown so much and definitely become a part of our family and kind of what we do out here. Do you think it's time for a new rope? Could be. Looking more like a mop. Can we teach her how to mop? She kind of already mops with it. Is that a, it's a new it's a new system of playing with the the rope. <laughs> so you can't take it from her <laughs> like that. Whoa. Whoa! Well, I thought this would be a perfect place to close out the video. You can see all the mountains. I got the most beautiful scenery. And plus the mountains in the background. Jess, you're the beautiful scenery. The scenery. <laughs> you're you're the beauty. You're the beauty, I'm the beast. Or maybe maybe UV over here is maybe she's the beast. So man, a lot of progress. Granted, uh it was just the blocking, but uh something that was necessary to do. Had to get that done. It was a lot of blocking, though. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, like, climbing up there, measuring, cutting, all that, back and forth. But it's time to move on. And I will get that blocking done, that other part done eventually, but not super important. But it's time to uh, kind of work on up and start on the upper part of the roof. Mm -hmm. I'm frightened. It sounds scary. So... I'm really happy with the progress. Time to move on up. Uh, the root cellar is looking fantastic. And man, I'm ready for that next phase. Like I said, I got to figure out how I'm going to get to that upper portion. So I got to figure all that out. But part of the fun, right? Figuring out how I'm going to even get up there. <laughs> all right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Bye. Thumbs up. You, are you just hanging out? She's gonna get that fly. Did you get that fly?